I am British. I, I ask people to say that because sometimes the accent is confusing to Americans. You'd be like, oh my god, he's Australian. <laughs> I love Australians. We're very different, Australia and England, very different countries. Um, I think the main difference is that in Australia they have a saying, if you see a very sexy woman, they say, I would crawl across a mile of broken glass to suck the dick of the last guy who fucked her. <laughs> what they all say. <laughs> and in England, we, we don't say that. <laughs> we, we say, God save the Queen. That's what we say. God save the Queen, that's our motto. My gosh, the lights, wow. That joke was so hard, they're having an epileptic fit. This is good. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure we're allowed to do this. There wasn't a sign on the door that said the show may contain seizures <laughs> and a British man. <laughs> Is that like an emergency warning on your phone or something with that like riptide alert? <laughs> Okay, cool. My set is now brought to you by the makers of MDMA. Let's get, let's get ravey. Yeah. I feel like there are comedians that would benefit from a light show behind them. I don't think my mild-mannered British humour is... Oh my gosh. I'm so... You appeared from nowhere. Fucking hell. This is, uh, this is amazing. Do you want to talk us through what's going on here? <laughs> Other than the health and safety violation of you trying to trip me up from behind like this was a playground? <laughs> well, so you've got one of them off. Okay, I'll tell, tell jokes about tea. <laughs> no, no. Are you, are you British? No. No, you were, just, you were just cheering at the concept of tea. Yeah. It's awful. It's awful? Okay, we're talking about tea. What is... Now these ones are flashing as well. What is going on? Has, has lightning struck the clock tower? Is the DeLorean about to appear? What's going on here? You know, it'd be great if, like, if after this show someone goes, Chris, the lights will find the whole way through. The audience didn't know what you were talking about. You have a bleed on the brain. I mean, really, at this point, I feel like we should just do that cool thing where they turn all the lights off, everyone whips their phones out, but your phones are all locked away. But I've always dreamt of doing that thing. You know, like at concerts where they turn the lights down, everyone's like, get your fucking phones out, and everyone holds the torches, and the person on stage is like, yeah, and everyone else is like, this is inadequate lighting. It doesn't work. I love that you came onto the stage, turned this one off, were like, this fucking does nothing. Okay. Cool. I'm going to try and time my punchlines with the lights flashing. <laughs> or I'll do that cool thing when they strobe and people move on stage and it looks like they're moving really quick. Okay, we've drained the light-based humour right now. <laughs> Some of you might think we drained it about three minutes ago when it started, but I am not an improvisational comic. Well, yes, you announced yourself on stage that time. <laughs> I think it makes someone's job easier when you provide running commentary on it, doesn't it? <laughs> Just like, well, that one's nailed it. Did, be honest, ladies over here. Did you press something? <laughs> you have such cute eyes. I'm going to walk away before I get an erection in your face. That is... See, that's the type of comedy you want. And then the British man comes up and is like, let's talk about the Queen. We say God save the Queen. That's what I was on. <laughs> Do I make it easier if I stand here? comedy a long time. I'm trying to go through my mental Rolodex of, you're now just making it more groovy. <laughs> if I could do a good Travis Scott impression, you know I'd be going, it's lit! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good way to end the evening, isn't it? Okay, I do have jokes. <laughs> I saw a man in a wheelchair with one leg. That was a thing. Um, he, was he was moving the wheelchair, not with the wheels. He was moving it by dragging himself down the street with his one leg. And obviously that is sad, but I can't help what I thought, which is, oh, that must be how he wore the other leg down. <laughs> Lighten up a bit, Chris. Okay, yes. It was all for the purpose of a light pump. <laughs> well, okay, right, because... Uh, 
the, the longer this goes on, the more likely it is that someone will actually froth at the mouth and drop on the floor. Let's, um, let's start doing what I do to, to close, which is a, a magical little thing called freestyle rap. That is rap that is made up on the spot based entirely on suggestions. It's not, wow, you all just accepted that. Like, yeah, fucking, yeah, that's how any show should end, Chris. No matter who is on stage, this time it happens to be you. So freestyle is rap made up on the spot based on whatever you want to rap about. So everyone here, think of a word, a topic, or a phrase that you'd like to hear a rap about. There are some rules. Number one, don't suggest food or animals. It's too obvious and too boring. Number two, don't be too unimaginative. Be creative, be, you know, esoteric if you wish. Some of the best suggestions ever include ninth century crop rotation. And I had a German man who said, a day in the life of an Aztec high priest. <laughs> so aim for that lofty peak. Okay, we'll get five suggestions. I'm assuming that one of them will be when the lights fuck up at a comedy show, so don't worry, that's, that's going in there. <laughs> Did someone put a hand up when I was looking over here? Is, is that, are you putting a hand up very politely, or are you just showing off that you've got bangles or something? What would you like a rap about, my friend? Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin. Okay, cool. For those of you that don't know, the fairy tale character that, that abducts babies. It's quite, quite a dark story. Guess my name. Oh, this will be fun, or I'll steal your kid. Okay. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin. Great. Rumpelstiltskin. Let's come. The, the kind of, there's a big group over here. Everyone under here. Hello. What would you like a rap about? Income inequality. Income inequality, yes. Yes, I... When you were like, I fucking hate tea, I wasn't expecting you to then be like, an income inequality, Chris. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin, income inequality. Great. Let's come to you guys over here. Oh, are you, you're waving a candle around like this is a Coldplay concert. Um, fantastic stuff. What would you like a rap about over there? Violin? Was that? The instrument, violin. the instrument, the violin. What's the other definition of the word violin that you had to add? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah, okay, cool. Violin. Great. Um, middle of the room. We haven't come to you. We'll draw a rapper. Okay, well, there were several. Did you say Andre Agassi's mullet? Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, no, he did. He used to have hair. Okay. Wow, your voice sounds too young to know when that was a thing, but... Was he... Who was... Was he with Steffi Graf? Who was his, his like, missus? Brooke Shields. Brooke Shields, was it? I thought he was with a tennis player. Fuck. Both. Both. At the same time? What a player. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, he was with Brooke. When was he with Brooke Shields? That's the that's the important thing to find out because there's a time when it would have been inappropriate. Let's so Andre Agassi's mullet, income inequality, violins, and um, Rumpelstiltskin. Final suggestion. Let's get it from the back of the room. What do you want to rap about? No, sorry, sorry. Let's address the fact that someone just kept going ooh 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 ooh. The suggestion is someone being fingered at the back of a comedy club. That's that's what the suggestion is. You were like, yeah, the lights are dim enough that I can get away with it now. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, what I'm going to say is, whoever's trying to fix the lights, obviously, please don't stop the lights being cool when we actually drop a beat and have fun, because this is really the most appropriate thing. I feel like I'm going to start, and the lights are going to go, nah, this is too white. This is not how we want to do. Um, I'm going to ask my band to lay me down something, something groovy. Um, and we're going to freestyle rap about Rumpelstiltskin, about violins, income inequality, Andre Agassi's mullet, and getting fingered at the back of the comedy show. Um, this is uh, going to be thoroughly enjoyable. And we'll start with you. Cool. I ought to be aware of all these things I'm in the orchestra, I be picking all the strings Let me tell you how I know I do it Italian pizzicato When they're there on the floor on the violin If you're on the first chair I'll be sidling in I'm like, ah, pleasure to meet you Hello, what the hell was the little cheer By the cellos over there I'm a real mover, prefer all the violins Screw the tubers, I don't need those The symphony would be improved Without the timpani I'm just talking, yeah, in 
structure Got the head bobbing Looking like the conductor Waving the wand Moving the stick Income equality So sick I really hate that these billionaires They be on stage acting all silly They don't even care about the people Homeless with no money No cash It's really not funny But we'll bring it there in the rap anyway We need to make sure that it goes away Anyway Income equality I digress How do you fix it? Legislation in Congress That's the only answer Relax I'm not saying we should increase the tax on the middle classes or the people working. I'm talking about the billionaires who are deserting. They're like, hi, I'm Jeff with a face. I want to fly high going out to outer space. That's the voice I do for Mr. Bezos. Weird little name just because, but the weirdest name that we're slipping in. A tiny little dwarf with a very cheeky grin. He's like, hello there. Yes, I'll walk. My name's Rumpelstiltskin. We should have a talk. Well, he wouldn't introduce himself that way. Otherwise, she would come right back with the name. You can't have my firstborn off the head. I think it was to do with weaving thread. That was something from the start of the story. Then it got weird, got a little bit gory. My name's Rumpel, I'm really crazy. Can't guess my name, then I'll take your baby and I run away. Grabbing it with me, baby snatcher like Agassi. Andre, cause Book Shields was underage. Maybe she was older at this stage in their life. Used to have a lot of hair, and now he's got none of bald dome on there. He be walking, shining, reflecting in the sun, but in the 1980s number one well not technically that was Pete Sampras on the little court yeah he got the answers party at the back work in the front short hair long hair mullet like a I apologize for even saying those things but you were over there going like it stinks the lights go down and it starts to shimmer you're like we can get sexy while it gets dimmer you sidle up to the lady by the side saying long fingers do you mind if I slide I can move them inside yeah I do I'm a cool dude produce your own lube when I start getting tickling it round finger in there yeah it goes to town that's nice I really like that sound got your fingers inside in the village underground (laughs) 